What is going on everybody, it's Skills here, and today we're going to be talking about Ghost Recon Breakpoint and what I consider five of the best weapons you should be putting in your loadouts. Now, not all of you will agree with this because in Ghost Recon Breakpoint there are so many weapons that you can use that that's what makes this game really fun. Headshots kill, so at the end of the day if you have really good aim you can pretty much use any weapon in this game and still dominate. So in this video, I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Some of these are really easy to get. Some of these are a little bit harder, but don't worry. In this video, I'll show you step by step what you need to do to get all five of these weapons. Before we do dive into this video, I do want to say a quick thank you to all the memberships. These are guys who go a little bit above and beyond. Instead of just being subscribers, they do want to help support the channel on the next level. And that's how you can do it with membership. So if you guys do want to find out more about this, there will be a link to it in the description. So we're going to dive into the first weapon, one of my favorite sniper rifles in the game. And the one that I recommend you guys picking up, it's pretty easy to do. You can get this one at Smuggler's Cove. There is a port just north of it. If you don't have this one unlocked, just fly towards it and you will see the TAC-50 pop up on screen. See, mine has a check because I already picked it up, but this one's really simple to do. Once you get near it, I recommend just hovering your helicopter nearby, and then when you're ready, just jump right out, and you can land at the doorway that you're gonna see me land at and not even really disturb anybody. I recommend if you're gonna do this and you just wanna go blueprint hunting and you wanna get stuff really quick, drop your difficulty down to either arcade or normal, and then knock out these blueprints, and then when you're done grabbing the blueprints, then you can um, push the difficulty level up. Once you come into the doorway that I came into, all you have to do is head up these stairs and don't go up the second stairs, go to the back office. Once you go in here, this is where the blueprint for the TAC-50 is gonna be. I told you it was really simple, probably one of the easier guns to grab, even with a lot of enemies guarding it. So this is weapon number one that I recommend you guys picking up, one of my favorite snipers. Now for weapon number two, this is one of my favorite SMGs to use and you can pick this one up in Windy Island, so it's going to be the island south of Aurora. If you go a little bit further south, you see the area called Windy Islands. If you zoom in right here, and it's gonna be this base that is right in front of me. And this is the blueprint for the Scorpion. One of, I wanna say the best SMGs in the game. I, I love SMGs in this game because the recoil is really easy to control. So if you're having trouble with um, assault rifles in this game, maybe you guys wanna switch to some machine guns and that'll definitely help you guys out. Now I did put this on normal for this part right here. So if you guys wanna do it on normal, like I said, a lot easier to do. I did come in through the south, so it kind of put me in a bad position to be stealthy. So I think if you come in through the north side, you'll have a lot easier time grabbing this one. It is in one of the big warehouses, so they're directly across from each other. It's hard to miss. And as long as you grab this, even if you get spotted, as long as you grab this and say you get killed uh, two seconds later, you will have this unlocked. But this is how you get the Scorpion Blueprint in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So let's dive into our next weapon. So I definitely want to show love to the pistols. Pistols are a great weapon to use, and this one is fairly easy to get. You just head to the north portion of Aurora, there is a providence called Wild Coast. On the left hand side, you will see a behemoth. Just pop that cloaking spray if you have um, Panther unlocked. You can run right by him. And yes, all pistols in this game are pretty much even, right? You get a headshot, they will drop their target. But for me, I love the SIG P227. I have a SIG P226 at home, a 9mm, and I'm a big fan of SIG. So when I saw they had the P227 in game, I was like, you know what? That is the pistol I will be running with in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. But this is where you get it. Remember, as soon as you go up the stairs, you need to make sure you go up the ladder too. The ladder is where all the blueprints that are guarded by these behemoths are located. Once you head up the ladder, you will see the military crate. Just open it up and that is how you get the P227 blueprint in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now that we got a pistol out of the way, let's get back to another assault rifle. The next weapon we're going to be diving into is the 805 brand. This weapon is pretty accurate. The recoil isn't bad at all on this. If you guys want something that's a little bit slower rate of fire than your M4 and your 416, this is going to be the weapon for you. I'm going to show you exactly where you guys can get this one. Now this one might give you a headache. You might want to drop it all the way down to arcade. I did this on extreme and I just wanted to throw my controller out of the window. This blueprint is located east of Sinking Country on some islands called Cool Islands at the Wolves Camp Tiger. Yes, Camp Tiger is the name of this facility you need to storm. Now, when you do arrive there on this island, you want to try to get to, I want to say the northeast, sorry, the southeast on the map. 
I don't have my compass up right now, but if you look at where I'm coming in, there is gonna be a sniper tower to the right of me. And where I'm coming in, there's going to be a broken wall, right? So the wall that was guarding this camp has been destroyed. This is where you either wanna come in to turn off the generator, or you can just go straight to where I'm about to show you right now. One thing that I did notice is when you do turn off the generator, there tends to be more soldiers just hanging around in their bunk beds and they're either cleaning their weapons or just chilling there. And you tend to spook one when you take out one of the wolves. And this one, if you do it while well, I was doing it on extreme, so I was doing it on the hardest difficulty, it was getting pretty intense pretty quick. And I'm gonna tell you that I found it a little bit easier when I was doing this and not shutting off the lights that are in this tunnel. So when you do make it down this tunnel, um, you don't need to have night vision on because you can see that the lights are on on this version versus what I was just showing you. There is going to be one wolf patrolling back and forth. You can kind of listen for him when he's close to you, when he's not. I would recommend if he's back is to you, you need to drop him as quick as you can. One shot to the head, no matter what difficulty, he will drop. And I did this at a lower level than, I think this camp is 200, I wanna say. And I was only, I wanna say around 150. Now the door to my right, right in front of me, is gonna have two wolves in there that are always like really stuck next to each other. Now, one thing I noticed when I had the lights on this room right here, the wolves tend to be separated and they weren't watching each other. So I get in here pretty quick. This guy is patrolling. I'm gonna drop him. As soon as I drop him, he didn't make any noise. So his other guy is going to be sitting down on the desk. I recommend sneaking up. Don't use your weapon. Just stab him and it's that simple. We are just one room away from getting this blueprint. So there will be Another wolf we need to kill, he will be patrolling this hallway right here. So you need to just wait for him, get in a good position. As soon as you're ready to drop him, make sure you hit a clean shot, headshot to drop these guys no matter what level. Their armor will not save them. If you want to just do stealth kills like I was doing, you can do that too. The final room where the blueprint is, there will be two wolves. So get ready for this. This is probably the hardest part I had in the whole part. I was rushing in here, always getting caught. And that's why I think when they're, when you don't cut off the electricity and it is daytime, they're not on their toes, I guess. And it just felt like it was a lot easier to do without turning off the generator. Some of you guys might want to try to go in there and do a tactical. That is up to you. Just make sure you drop both of these guys. And that's it. The blueprint, the 805 brand is right there. A pretty solid AR. I would highly recommend trying this one out. I'm still trying to get a better roll. I think the one I have is only blue. And the final weapon I recommend getting, which is pretty easy, is the M4A1. It is guarded by a behemoth, but you shouldn't have too much trouble getting them. I ended up recently getting this on my PlayStation 4 account, and I wanna say I'm only level 30 or 35 on PlayStation 4. Of course, on PC, where that is where my main account is. It's a little bit higher, like I'm around like 170, 180, but on PlayStation 4, I'm only at 30 right now. But I do want to start leveling that up because I do want a PvP on PlayStation 4. But like I said, use the cloaking spray from Panther, and as long as you do that, you can run right up to these behemoths and they will not see you. You won't have any issue at all with them spotting you. Remember, all blueprints that are guarded by behemoths, they're in a tower and they're always on the second level. So once you go up the stairs, grab those skill points, always grab the skill points, and then after you grab the skill points, go up the ladder and then grab the blueprint. And this is the final blueprint of today's video. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos, these tips and tricks videos. I'm trying to bring you guys what I think will help you guys become better ghosts and hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Don't forget to always leave a thumbs up on all my videos. It definitely helps me out. And I wanna know which out of all of these blueprints is your favorite to use. So if it's the TAG 50, if it's the M4A1, if it's the 805 brand, if it's the P227 pistol, which is my favorite, and then of course the Scorpion SMG. Which one do you prefer and which one do you like? I do appreciate all the support for these Ghost Recon Breakpoint videos. I'm loving the game, I'm having fun, and I can see a lot of you guys in the comments saying, you know what, I didn't think this game was gonna be this much fun, but I'm really, really enjoying it, and I'm glad that I started watching your channel, and I appreciate things like that. We're gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you guys again for the support, but until the next Ghost Recon Breakpoint video, nothing but skills is out.